When you hear this sound, turn the page. This story is called Rainbow Bright and the Colour Kids. Right at the very, very end of the rainbow, where all the colours on the earth are made, is a magical kingdom called Rainbowland. It is filled with small round houses, millions of brilliant coloured flowers, and has a tall tower called Colour Castle. And that is where Rainbow Bright lives. Rainbow Bright is a lovable little girl who uses the colours of the rainbow to spread joy and brightness all over the world. She does this happy magic by scattering star sprinkles, and she is helped by seven colour kids. Each colour kid has a special helper too, a friendly furry sprite. These sprites work in the colour mines, digging and supplying the colour kids with the correct colours that are needed, and they really love their job. Rainbow Bright has her own special sprite called Twink, and a magical flying horse named Starlight. But not far from Rainbow Land, is a grey, gloomy place called The Pits. There is nothing very nice about this place. Murky Dismal lives there, and he hates brightness and colour, and spends all his time trying to make the world as grey and dull and miserable as he can. His assistant is called Lurky, who is not very bright himself, and makes lots of silly mistakes, and drives Murky Dismal round in their rattling old grunge buggy. One evening, Rainbow Bright and the Colour Kids were busy getting a special supper ready as a surprise for the Sprites. Everyone was happy. Canary Yellow was putting out the butter and singing quietly to herself. Red Butler was telling Lala Orange a long story as he set out the strawberry jam, when suddenly Rainbow called out, Quiet, please, everyone. I can hear a noise. They were all very still. And then Buddy Blue said, I can hear it too. And added, It's that awful grunge buggy. I know that rattle sound anywhere. Shy Violet whispered, I wonder what Murky Dismal is doing round here at this time of day. He's usually making up some nasty mixture at the pits. The sound of the grunge buggy came nearer. Then the back door flew open and a breathless sprite came in. It was Twink. Oh, oh Rainbow. Oh, Colour Kids. Lucky is driving Murky Dismal this way. Please, can you stop him? Please? Yes, I will, Rainbow replied. Don't you worry, Twink. You run back and tell the other sprites everything will be all right. Oh, thank you, Rainbow, Twink called as he ran back to the mines. Rainbow knew how frightened sprites were of Murky Dismal. The sound of the grunge buggy came nearer and then stopped. Murky Dismal's voice rang out. <laughs> Rainbow Bright and you colour kids, you've got a surprise coming to you. <laughs> What surprise? Rainbow asked. You just find out for yourself. <laughs> yes, you find out for yourself. Repeated Lurky, starting up the grunge buggy. You'll find out at the fruit garden. Murky Dismal was cross. You old flurky, you've told them now. No, 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 I didn't. All I said was... But before he could finish, Rainbow had grabbed a handful of star sprinkle and thrown them at Murky and Lurky. Quick, quick, drive away back to the pits! Murky yelled. Before those star sprinklers get us and make us happy! The colour kids and the sprites all cheered when they heard this, but Rainbow was thoughtful. I wonder what Lurky meant when he mentioned the fruit garden. There was silence. Then Rainbow called, Starlight! And straight away her magic horse appeared. Starlight, I want you to take me to the fruit garden as quickly as you can. Within seconds they were there. Oh no! 
Rainbow gasped. Look what they've done! Starlight stamped his foot. All the fruit in the garden had lost its colour. It was all grey and gloomy and miserable and dull. Rainbow was worried. Everyone will be so unhappy when they see this tomorrow morning. Just what Murky wants. We must act quickly. Back in the castle, Rainbow gathered all the colour kids and their sprites round her and told them what Murky had done, then added, We must do something. Put the colour back in the fruit, Twink suggested. Rainbow agreed. Yes, but how? Have we got enough of the correct colours ready for the morning? Twink spoke up. We'll make enough, won't we, colour kids and sprites? Even if we have to work all night. Yes! yes they all chorused. Then Rainbow organised them into their groups, each colour kid with their own special sprite helper. Patio Green, if you and Sprite Lucky will see to the cooking apples and the gooseberries, Lala Orange and Saucy attend to the oranges and tangerines, Shy Violet, can you manage the grapes with IQ? Shy Violet nodded, and Canary Yellow called, Spark and I will do the bananas and lemons. Good, smiled Rainbow. And Red Butler and Romeo... The eating apples and the cherries, smiled Red Butler. Then they all dashed off quickly, followed by Buddy Blue and Champ, who went to the blueberry bushes, and Indigo and Encore, who arranged the damsons and some plums. In the mines, everyone worked non-stop right through the night, digging, sorting and preparing the right colours. Then, after eight hours, Twink reported to Rainbow. Finished. Everything is ready. Looking very pleased, Rainbow jumped on Starlight's back, and within a few seconds they were at the fruit garden. She star-sprinkled the different colours over all the fruit, and everything brightened up, and all the colours appeared, and everything looked fresh and colourful and appetising again. In the morning, Lurky drove Murky Dismal to the fruit garden in the grunge buggy. <laughs> Murky chuckled as they neared it. Won't everybody be miserable when they see all the grey, dull fruit and... He stopped laughing. They had reached the fruit garden. What happened? He gasped. My plan has been ruined! Ruined by Rainbow Bright and the sprites and those colour kids! It's sickening! Lurky looked at the shining, mouth-watering fruit. Those bananas look nice, and those apples, and, and those plums, and those... Get going immediately! Ordered Murky. Back to the pits, and some real miserableness! Come on! and the buggy roared off back home to their dull, gloomy place. But at Colour Castle in Rainbowland, the sprites with Rainbow Bright and the Colour Kids were having a wonderful breakfast. From the supper they had prepared the night before, but had been too busy to eat.